We will now perform examination of the lower leg. We will start with palpatory examination, which will involve from below the knee to the toes. Laurie, could you pop your leg up onto my leg? Okay. We start at the proximal end of the lower leg, locating the head of the fibula, which is here and is prominent, and that can be felt quite easily. Palpate along the fibula, which becomes more difficult to feel due to muscle. However, as we become more distal, we can feel the posterior edge of the fibula as it becomes more superficial. Progressing down around the posterior aspect of the malleolus, the lateral malleolus, inferiorly and along the anterior aspect. Then palpate across the top. Having examined the lateral aspect of the lower leg of the fibula, we turn to the tibial tuberosity to examine this area. So palpate the tibial tuberosity, progress down the shin bone, the superficial aspect of the tibia, towards the medial ankle and around the medial malleolus. Come in front of the medial malleolus, inferiorly and posteriorly then palpate on top. We then feel for the hole at the posterior aspect of the malleolus and palpate in here to feel the talus. Then feel along the calf muscle, make sure it's soft and non-tender and gently feel the Achilles tendon. It should feel firm. Which leads down to the calcaneus. Palpate along the lateral border of the calcaneus, the posterior aspect, and correspondingly around to the medial aspect of the calcaneus, along with the plantar aspect, and then give the calcaneus a squeeze. The foot is then better examined from the toes upwards. So we'll start with the great toe, just check that the toe Joints are moving freely and then palpate along the first metatarsal onto the medial cuneiform and then the navicular, which is quite prominent. Second toe, joints are moving freely, second metatarsal, middle cuneiform or intermediate cuneiform and then onto the navicular. Third toe, joints moving smoothly. Third metatarsal, lateral cuneiform, navicular, and then talus. Fourth toe, same again, relaxed moving. Palpate along the fourth metatarsal, meeting the cuboid, and then the calcaneus. Small toe moving and then palpate along the fifth metatarsal. Feel for the base of the fifth metatarsal which is prominent and is an area that is prone to injury. Then the cuboid and the calcaneus. Then we check for circulation. Feel for the desalus penis pulse which is along at the base of the second metatarsal of the dorsum of the foot and can be quite easily palpated here. Check the sensation across the dorsum of the foot and the toes and along the lower leg. And this is for the peroneal nerve which can be injured often at the head of fibula. The motor function of that is to dorsiflex the foot which we will cover in the ankle and foot movements. Lower leg, ankle and foot, movements and special tests. Active, passive and resisted movements. Ed, can you pull your foot towards your body at the ankle?
dorsiflexion 0 to 20 degrees. And relax. Can you push your foot away from your body at the ankle? Plantar flexion 0 to 50 degrees. Relax. Can you turn the sole of your foot towards your other foot? Inversion, 0 to 30 degrees. Relax. Can you turn the sole of your foot away from your other foot? Eversion, 0 to 10 degrees. And relax. Passive movements. All passive movements have a firm end feel. Ed, you relax and I'm just going to move your foot through some simple movements. Dorsiflexion. Plantar flexion. Inversion. Eversion. Resisted movements. Ed, we'll now test the muscles that support your ankle. Don't let me pull your foot away from your body. Resisted dorsiflexion. Don't let me push your foot towards your body. Resisted plantar flexion. Don't let me push your foot away from your other foot. Resisted inversion. Don't let me push your foot towards your other foot. Resisted eversion. Special tests. The anterior drawer test is a test to check the stability of the anterior talofibular ligament, which is the most frequently injured ankle ligament, normally due to an inversion injury. Ed, could you bend your knee for me, please? Hold the heel. Brace the shin and pull the foot forward from the ankle in front. And relax. A positive test would show laxity of the anterior talofibular ligament. Special test, the Simmons test. This test is used to demonstrate a ruptured Achilles tendon injury. The position the patient needs to be in for this test is demonstrated by Ed. There may be visible signs of ruptured Achilles tendon. If you look at the position that the feet are in, normally they should lie in slight plantar flexion. If the Achilles tendon is ruptured, the injured foot would sit perpendicular to the ankle. There may be flattening of the heel, possible bruising over this area, and indeed there may well be a palpable gap along this area. The Simmons test involves the examiner grasping the gastric nemius muscle and gently squeezing this area to mimic muscle contraction. The foot at that point should plant a flex. 
squeeze. The Simmons test is positive if the foot does not move. This is indicative of a ruptured Achilles tendon. This completes the examination and the movements of the lower leg 